alcohol. So let's not hold our breath yeah. on it. But yeah, so what do y'all think is next for the industry? Um, whether it be, so do we see a big movement in the new November elections? Do we see Denver? How far are we from having cannabis clubs? What's the future look I, for I us? I think that's it. I, I don't think we're that far. I really don't. I, like I said, I think we've we've earned it as a business. I think one of the one of the aspects that's really important, especially in light of this year, is social justice and and social equity. As we so we've created policy. Uh, in Colorado now where um, business owners can kind of help tutor and mentor um, social minorities or different groups that have been disenfranchised by cannabis uh, into having their own business. And I think that as we – which we're currently doing now. So as, as our industry gets more involved in that component, I think that the, the next inevitable commercialism of cannabis is cannabis clubs. So I don't think it's that far away. I, everyone wants it. How do they tax and regulate? Look, Denver moves Anybody like to get theirs before. But Denver moves like molasses. We've we've had delivery on the ballot for five years, and we still we were supposed to have medical. It was guaranteed medical delivery this year in Denver, in Colorado. They passed in Colorado last year. Denver still hasn't gotten gotten it done yet, and we're in it's it's September. Today's September or something third, and they didn't do it yet. And they were kind of you know that's just, it's not fair to us. We people want delivery. Why is it? Why is it so hard? New states have it. We we move very slow here. But hospitality, we're really, you know, we're that hoping. said, hospitality could probably still be a few more years. But, you know, hopefully it's, it's not. We're, <laughs> we're going to continue to be in the ask for forgiveness, not permission phase for yeah. the longest time. Um, okay, here it is. If you had to bet on what state will go legal next, what do you think it's going to be? What state goes legal? Just herb. Sure. Well, uh, we'll say from medical to rec, or just rec. We'll say medical or rec. For, uh, I think Arizona is probably close. Mm-hmm. But if we can say who's going to be the next to join from no Doja to Doja, mm-hmm. who would y'all say is going to join the party next? I, you know, I don't know the answer to that because I don't follow that enough. But I would say that rec. I think the biggest impacts are going to be New York and New Jersey. I think when New Jersey goes, New York goes, and then the country goes. Um, they're just so big. As everything, you know, because Pennsylvania is, is, you know, is so close. It already has medical. Maryland has medical. They're already pretty close to rec, and uh, you know, they all get jealous of tax revenue along the, you know, East Coast. So I think New Jersey almost had it done last year. Again, this is all about social equity, so they just want to make sure that it's not just multimillionaires getting business licenses. And I think New Jersey is going to pass it. I think New Jersey and Arizona are both on the ballot this year. And if New Jersey passes, I think that's the, that's the straw that broke the camel's back, in my opinion, because that's New York, and that's and then that's, that's the epicenter of the world, right? So that's, and then DC's already got it, and then hopefully we have a nice, yeah. more progressive liberal, um, whatever going in place in November. So we'll see, we'll see. You progress. To, we look for progress. We, we look, look for progress. That's the word I was looking for. And speaking of progress, we're going to dive now into oh. the segment of the episode where most of the people wish that they had gotten off the microphones <laughs> and gone back to their day jobs. Um, so I have a couple questions that I want you all to answer for our listeners at home. But before I do, I would be doing a disservice if I didn't do my ad read. Um, so thank, shout out to our friends over at Fifth String Rec Restaurant. Um, Chef Amos Watts recently came down from Boulder Carita Restaurant and opened in the old, old major building in Lohi, the Fifth String. Perfect for any date night or happy hour. They have turned that meat room into a wine chiller, I guess. I don't know. I guess it's a fridge, wine fridge. Uh, go check them out. It's over at 33rd and Tejon. That's the fifth string restaurant. Tell them I sent you and you'll get free ice cream. It's probably a pretty nice fridge. It is. I'm right? excited to support that. I live right near there. Dude, it's fuck. And he's a big fish guy himself. Cool. Big fish cat. So if you're a jam band fan, he has a he has a sturdy playlist going at all Very times. Cool. And, and great happy hour in the bar side. But the restaurant's perfect for date night if you're getting the Is he group. currently open, do you know? He did. He's, oh, oh, cool. Yes, he is. He opened two weeks ago. He's open Wednesday to Sunday. Cool. Thanks for helping me on that. I, will. Five I would love to. Five five I will love I'll, you can give more than a plug. I will, I will probably go there soon. It's very near where I live. Bada bing. And yeah, if you tell him that Kip from Stoned Appetit sent you, I swear he'll give you some ice cream and he will not <laughs> spit it. Out. Free ice cream? I know, right? That should Come get on. everybody in. <laughs> I'm, I'm there. I'm going to text Amos and let him know he needs to get some ice cream. Right. <laughs> Do you like weed trades? Can I bring some weed? Yeah, he will definitely do that. Uh, yeah. So we've had a couple episodes. That'll get me a lot of ice cream. Yeah. More, more than your, just one scoop that you would your, maybe Kip get me. <laughs> that is very true. S- nice backhanded compliment. I'm glad to see that we're warming up right here before this hard-hitting question. That's right. I had to hit, my, hit you first. Right? Good. I enjoy the bars. I enjoy it. So uh, please fight back. Um, speaking of fighting back, here's the first question for you all today. It's the Kip's injury question of the day. If you were going to die on your average day, what would be the most embarrassing way y'all would die at work? At work. 
I mean, at work. Yeah, like if somebody was like, "Oh, did you hear about John? He died. Oh, he got run over by the forklift carrying like you know two do- tons of marijuana. Something witty that's also lighthearted. It's just witty and lighthearted. Right? That's all this okay, podcast is. Super, super and you're easy. dead. So I think the worst thing would be for me at least because I have to. I work a lot in the front of house operation. It would be a paper cut if I was to bleed out in the packaging. <laughs> just five <laughs> thousand. You know, like it, it's uh, that would be really difficult. Uh, it would be tough to. Hold my head high at that point. As a complainer, paper cuts are the worst. <laughs> right? It's, it's about as bad as it gets. It's the smallest injury that hurts the most. The lady friend would be like, Jesus Christ, just shut the fuck yes, up. Exactly. Like, yeah, but look how deep it could have gotten. Right, exactly. <laughs> um, all right, Mike, if you were to die at work, what's the most embarrassing way to go? Well, I almost died at work. How? Do you want to hear the story? Yeah. Do you have time? I have nowhere to be. Okay. Literally. Have you heard of coronavirus? Oh, uh, yeah. They okay. got a lot more serious. Than so. <laughs> Boo. Yeah. Boo. Oh, well. Respirator- I, upper respiratory infection? I actually didn't almost die, but I did contract coronavirus from, wait for it. Trevor. Wait for it. Sniffing a bag of marijuana. I shit you not. From sniffing a bag of weed. There was a small. I got a small, lot of friends from the weekend that are going to be This isn't going to sell any more weed. Well, this was a long time ago. <laughs> Everything is kosher now. All that weed's been sold. <laughs> we had... To get everybody here tested, which we did immediately because we are an outstandingly compliant and healthy company. I don't Veritas Cannabis. I don't know. Buy it now. Um, Good plug. But uh, we had a, a concern, and since we're concerned managers of business, we, we con- had, a, had a concern. And I we all got tested, and three out of 68 of us turned out positive, and I turned, was one of the three. And then, you know, if you really want to get yourself in the doghouse, you bring it home to your wife, and she tests positive for it. That was fun. Let me tell you how that worked out. That's got to be one of – at least it wasn't like chlamydia. Yeah. Because well, she knows you know, when you got COVID. Right. Right. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I have Dude, nothing. Make the joke. Yeah. Yeah, we make inappropriate. I make Terry Shivo jokes all day. <laughs> right, good. Yeah, but to answer your question, you know, I really fear someone walking around the corner and maybe just elbowing me with a big weed stem and that like taking my eye out. That's probably the safer thing. Dude, I could have just said that from the beginning. Weed stock through the eye. Yeah, we grow some really big plants. Get it. So you know, a bottom of a stem. We got like one kid here who's like six foot seven or something. If he was just muscling through on a hard day's timing. work. We don't, but we should. <laughs> Y'all are missing order that. Order a new name tag for tomorrow. We, we really should be calling him Tiny. But, you know, if he had enough uh, force and, uh, you know, you're in the wrong place at the exact wrong time. That's actually a painful way to go, just thinking about, get, like, getting shanked. Like Game of Thrones. But if weed killed me, if honestly weed killed me, would I be that upset? I mean, hopefully you're not sober when it happens, but you have to be sober at work, so that's a tough way to go. Impaling. Although the thousand paper cuts is, pr- I don't know, guys. I still think the paper cuts is worse because you bleed out slowly. I think the impaling would be over quick. That's and true. The impaling like, would be over very quick. Yeah. I would eventually start good. whimpering and it would suck, and like, and that would be the memory, not of the death, but of how it happened. Do you remember how miserable he was to deal with? It's kind of like in the movie The Beach when right. the guy gets attached, attacked by the shark, and he's just everyone's like, just kill him now. Right, exactly. He's, out, he's in misery out there. Exactly. Yeah, I watch a lot of movies. So. <laughs> um, all right, so y'all are almost out of the woods. Usually these things go thirty minutes or forty five minutes. And we're at 38. So y'all there are you go. Um, this I hope we're not boring you. Not me at all. I thought you were the one looking at your cell phone. No. So I thought no. we were boring you. I was like, shit, watch out. Mike's got to go. No, no, no. Very, it, very yeah. important, man. He's like, hey, don't listen to this, honey. We made jokes about chlamydia on there. Yeah, uh, I was going to let her listen to this, but now. No, you know. That's all right. I'll edit that out. <laughs> um, <laughs> I won't. Okay. Well, then, well, maybe I'll edit out this one because I kind of gave you all a heads up. But yeah. let's just go ahead and get it out there. If y'all could have sex with any cartoon character in history, who would it be and why? I know you let me think about it and I still don't really have an answer. And this is the one where, if, you know, I said the cartoons that my kid was watching, my wife would have real problems with. So, Well, it depends on what cartoons. Are, what, what, what were you thinking? Like Peppa the Pig? Peppa the Pig is, is, happens she to be my two year old's it. favorite. Oh, look but, at that. You know, Peppa's. You know what they say about the Pig? I haven't person? watched it with that eye, but next time I watch Peppa the Pig. Did I ruin it? Because of you? this question? No, nah, you know. It's going to suck if I'll you I'll think a little bit harder about shoot. it. I've been watching <laughs> a lot of Lion King lately, too. Dude, Disney so, Plus is so money. Disney Plus, that's crazy. That'd How did y'all not think of any of the Disney princesses when we're sitting here talking about oh, it? Oh, that's right. They could Elsa, all get right? it. Yeah, I haven't yeah, got a yeah, guy. Right. Someone from Jasmine? Frozen. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I don't know the names. You're right. I love Jasmine. Now that you think about it, like the older legally women, legal women of age. From... <laughs> what were you thinking about, pervert? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I think it's a really I just asked one. a simple question. Yeah, Frozen. Definitely Frozen. <laughs> Jessica sure. Rabbit would be the easy one, but I am said I would go with Beth from Rick and Morty because I think Rick would be an amazing dude to hang out with. And I think he would like me. Such a better. 
better answer. So yeah. Yeah. you bank it on a cut right? situation so where like cool Rick's hanging out, Jerry, and I think that that hanging out with Beth would lead to hanging out with with Rick. I like it, and that's a great. That's appreciate a good the answer. heads up. That was what I was really thinking about the entire. That's time. why so I let y'all like, answer it because I didn't that. want him to. What is he? he was about to say he was going to fuck a pig. I, I couldn't know, let I that happen. Was... You trapped me. You said that was okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did I, that's all, that was off the record, so we can't really prove that. You're good at this. See, I am. Did y'all play music for the plants? I've heard that that we, plays. We blast music when we work, absolutely. So. Okay. Does, Does it work? I, I don't know. I don't know. I've, I mean, my parents listened to really good music when I was in the womb, and they smoked and drank. That's what it was. Yeah, that and a combination of Budweiser's and Virginia Slims, and look how great <laughs> I turned out. Right? You know, if you play music and you remember to do the other things, like turn the lights on and water them, you're probably going to have success. Uh-oh. But if you only play music, you're probably not going to have success. All right. Well, he gave us like a small, subtle, like, do your job. Right? <laughs> right. And he's like, do everything. Don't just listen to music, you pothead. Um, all right. So, guys, before we uh, we get out of here, we have two pretty big questions we ask every episode. Um, we would be doing a disservice if I didn't do uh, the Stone d'Appetit question of the week. And this week it's brought to you by Veritas, but it's specifically brought to you by the Veritas weed I bought two weeks ago from Colorado Harvest Company. Um, you'll have a great selection selection available of the weeds. Um, I could give a whole rundown. I can let y'all do a quick rundown if y'all want to do a 15, 20 second elevator speech as to why folks want to or where they should get it. I'll let y'all do that. But it's after these questions I got. Guilty pleasure, favorite snack when high. Who wants to go first? That's a loaded question. That's my Barbara Walters. That, that's, that's why they a, call me the Barbara Walters. Because you could go wrong. I mean, there's really no uh, way to you know, go wrong. This is a totally Look, judgy question. Judgy I judge question. the shit out of uh, Of course. I'm, I'm not nervous. I'm I, just like, I can oh, answer I'm that nervous. because you I don't can, look nervous. I can tell you it's really evolved. You know, I mean, that's such, I love answering the question, but it's like my favorite snack from when I was obviously 15 or 16 is so different than it's not I'm, gushers? I'm 40 is now my age. <laughs> it's not gushers? I mean, I really like like really good Chinese food dumplings, like good, but not like, I'm not American. Chinese, but like true, like more like like South Federal, like good, authentic. Lao There's some Wei, good places Star in there. Kitchen, love Lao Hong Kong. You know it. Yeah. Okay, I don't. I know mean, this is what we do here. So. Got it. So I love that Perfect stuff. Segue. Like big broad noodles. Give it to me all day. And you're kind spicy. of spicy. You're a Northeast guy, so you probably grew up doing city dim sums in a warehouse uh, and, like. And y'all. I'm a Jew, so Sunday night was Chinese. You're a member of the you know, tribe. I'm a member of the tribe. So a lot of our friends are. That's, that's all we did. My movies. fantasy football league. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. What's your What's the name of your fantasy football? Um, league? I don't know. Is I it did, in relation to the tribe in some? Comp- I'm some sure component? you may know the inside joke, but as a <laughs> wasp, I don't. Um, this is. It just had. Here's the logo for it. It just says. It just has the Israeli flag, a kingdom, a football, a helmet, okay. and then a nerd. You can see it right there in the middle. That's the name of the chat. There you go. So, <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So I, I think I'm not the only Gentile, but yeah, there sure. you go. So no matzo ball soup or anything. No go tos like that. Home cooking. Foods. You know, um, growing up, like if you snuck in the house and you're going to your room. In the East Coast, it's pizza. If I'm if I'm back in Connecticut, for sure. I, I mean, I worked in pizzerias growing up, so I okay. and we you know we specialize in really good pizza in Connecticut. You know, it's the thing. I've heard good Neapolitan uh, pizza, Naples pizza. So interesting. Okay. Um, Do you have a I, pizza I place that. here in town that you fuck with? Uh, I love Locale in Boulder. It's really authentic Italian. Shout out to Bobby uh, Frosco. Absolutely. Um, uh, what's his name? Does a really good job. Uh, the guy in Larimer who imports his water. I think his pizza is yeah. really good. Uh, uh, he's got it in. in Marco. It was Car- Marco's, Car- and then he changed. No, no. Oh. I like car driver a lot too. Car driver is really good. Uh, but Marcos Marco's, Cole-Fire? and then he changed it, and then it, yeah. But, but there's like so many Marcos. I think it's Marco's Lucky Cole Pie. Lucky Pie. Is that you talking about Lucky Pie? Lucky that's Pie. That's one. No, I've never been to Lucky Pie. Pie. I've, I've never tried Lucky Pie. Lucky Pie's good. Uh, Mar- I like the individual uh, Neapolitan style. Ones, okay. Like, yeah. Okay. And everyone has a vibe. So like, I prefer like a little bit of, like integrity on my pizza so I want like the middle like when you cut it I want the middle to have a little bit so all the shit doesn't slide off when I pull the pizza yeah. slice up I need to kind of have a little bit of like a backbone just a little bit you know and sometimes I feel like those Neapolitans or whatever you want to call them they kind of just kind of limp dick you a little bit they go flaccid on you so you may lose a little of that topping that's in the middle it's stone it doesn't matter right like if you're stoned you're pizzas are really like blowjobs even it if it's bad matter. it's still ah, you good my line. I, was literally, I was about to say sex I, I was, uh, I was, you beat me too but yes it's hard to have bad pizza Actually, there is a really bad pizza place. I won't say because they're good people, but I, there's one place in Denver that's just like they can't figure it out. Who is it? I turned your mic off. 
<laughs> no, no. It's, I, uh, I like their music scene, so I'm not going to say anything. Oh, it's the Marquee? No, I like their pizza. Marquee is good pizza. Uh, I was like, that's our fucking sponsor, Dick. Uh, no, sure. no, Marquee is good. Marquee is actually probably the best sliced pizza I've ever uh, Well, we won't, we won't press you too hard on that one, but what I will do is I'll press John. What's the sn- uh, sneaking in?